up reading one of my favorite fairy tales of all time. It's a story called Cinderella. Have you heard of it? My parents used to read it to me all the time, and they even helped me learn to read it myself. Have you learned to read yet, friends? If not, it's okay. You will soon. Reading is the greatest. It doesn't matter how many times you read something, you can always learn something new. You see, friends, another reason why I'm reading Cinderella is because my teacher at school picked me to be the special guest reader at the library. And guess what I get to read? Cinderella. How did you know? Yeah, Cinderella. I'm so excited, but I'm also a little scared. I just learned to read and I'm still learning and now I have to read a story to a big group of people? I was telling my grandma about it and she said I should be bold. I didn't know what that meant except for my dad saying my mom uses bold letters in her text sometimes when she's really serious. Grandma laughed and said it meant to be brave and try something even if you don't know how it will turn out. In the fairy tale, there is a moment where Cinderella has to try on a magical glass slipper to see if it fits. If it does, then she will prove that she's the same girl from the ball. No one thinks that the slipper will fit Cinderella, especially not her wicked stepsisters. Ugh! What stood out to me this time I read Cinderella is how bold she had to be to try on the slipper. What if it didn't fit? What did everyone think about her even trying? She must have been scared. That's kind of how I feel about reading at the library. Maybe our Bible story for today can help. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Ruth, chapter 3. Even though Naomi and Ruth had lost their family and traveled to Bethlehem without knowing how things would turn out, they were actually getting along fine. And Naomi had a great plan. She just found out that they had the chance for something really good to happen. God was looking out for them when they had nobody else to count on. But in order for this plan to work, Ruth would have to be bold. You see, Ruth was working every day in the field that belonged to Boaz. Boaz was related to Naomi. And so, if he wanted to, he could marry Ruth and bring her and Naomi into his family and take care of them. The only thing was that Boaz didn't know Ruth wanted to marry him, and Ruth didn't know what he would say if she told him she did. Naomi told Ruth to be bold and tell Boaz she wanted to marry him. So she did what Naomi told her to do. She got all dressed up and went to Boaz and told him she wanted to marry him. This was a very bold thing to do. What if Boaz didn't want to marry her? What would she do then? But Boaz did want to marry her. In fact, he was surprised and overjoyed. He couldn't believe that she would want to marry him out of all the guys in all the world. He was so happy that Ruth had been bold and asked for his help. Ruth had to be bold and take a chance believing that God had something awesome in store for her and Naomi. When you feel shy or unsure, don't forget, God is with you. Remember the story of Ruth, and remember, God gives us boldness. After every page I read, I have to turn the book around and show the pictures, then slowly sweep the book back and forth so everyone can see. I'm getting the hang of this. That Bible story was awesome! I'm still pretty scared about reading in front of people, but just like God had Naomi to tell Ruth to be bold, I believe God had my grandma do the same for me. Hearing that Bible story allowed me to know for sure that I need to be bold and go for it, believing that God has something great for me no matter what. Wow! Knowing that kind of makes me feel a little less scared. Cool! Pass the toast, Cinderella. Knit a scarf, Cinderella. Take the trash out, Cinderella. Make me a salami sandwich, Cinderella. That's not really what the book says, but I'm sure my teacher won't mind a little Cali ad lib. That means making up stuff on the go. Now that takes boldness. Well, friends, thanks so much for learning and growing with me today. Wish me luck. See you 
next time and remember, God gives us boldness.